Hello, I'm Kristen, head trainer at Teletales. I have over 15 years of experience helping families and dogs have better walks together. We've put together our leash walking series to walk you through the steps of developing focus, moving with you, and even passing distractions. Good. Bounce. Here, ready? We know that you can have good walks with your dog. If you have any questions along the way, please feel welcome to reach out to me or a member of our team, and we are happy to help you. In part one, you are gonna see how we establish the behavior of following you and moving with you as a team. This really key foundation will make all the other parts much easier. For beginning stage loose leash walking, we can begin by moving backwards. Reward your dog for following you. Try to give the treat at head height or lower to discourage jumping. Initially feed every one to two steps, but then begin to space out the treats further as he gets more practice. Once he follows well, we can rotate so he is at our side and reward him for staying with us. Initially feed frequently and then add in pauses between each treat. If he's on the right side, use your right hand for treats. If he's on the left, use your left hand. This will prevent him from crossing in front of us as he goes. If he gets distracted, we can go back to backwards walking and continue on again. Part two, we are spacing out the treats. We don't want your dog walking with you just because we're feeding him every two steps. We want your dog understanding that walking is part of the reward and how to go more steps between each reward. Once we've trained basic walking, we can repeat the same lesson in other environments. This will help your dog learn that it works everywhere, not just the living room or backyard. Pick a quiet park, parking lot, or soccer field. Repeat the lesson of backwards and side-by-side -side walking, showing your dog that good things happen when he goes with you. If he tries to pull or get out ahead, you can pause or turn and go the other way. Start out in a small area, back and forth, until he's really confident, and then you can gradually expand your walking area. Another way we can add variation is go to another location. By repeating this in different places, he's learning to work everywhere, not just the location where you originally trained the skill. Part three, we're ready to add distractions. This is the part everybody's been waiting for. We're gonna work initially with something easy like a piece of crumpled paper. And as your dog gets more experienced, we're gonna move on to harder things like garbage and wildlife and other people. Distractions are a challenge for most young dogs. When you notice a distraction out ahead, or if you've pre-placed an item to be a distraction, we want to arc around or walk past at a distance where your dog can be successful. If he's lunging and pulling, we know we're too close. We want to be far enough away so that he can notice the distraction, but to turn back to us. If the leash briefly goes tight and he comes back on his own, we'll reward him at this stage, but maybe next week he only gets praise for that. If he passes without pulling at all, we can give him multiple treats. Start further away, maybe 10 to 15 feet if needed, and gradually move closer to the item. If this is a real life distraction, you might walk by a few times and continue on your way. If it's something you've put out, you can do additional practice gradually getting closer to the item. You can switch it out for something else to provide even more learning opportunities. This is a great foundation for walking training. We know that every dog is different and we can help you through our personalized training services. We have virtual one-on-one -on -one coaching and can help modify a plan for you and your dog. Let us know if you have any questions.